We've got a really great recipe for you today. It involves chicken. Southern fried chicken fried chicken. And we have some special stuff to go with it and we're gonna show you how this is done. So let's get started. All right, so we've got our chicken breasts here and we're gonna slice them lengthwise right in half. And so we'll just slice them down the middle and butterfly them open so that we have two equal pieces of breast meat. And we will do this to all the breasts that we have. And then we're going to place them on some parchment paper. And we're going to place another piece of parchment paper right over the top of them. And I'm going to pound them out to make them thin. And you want to pound them out because they'll cook a lot quicker. They will. I'm, I love chicken when it's thin. Flat. Yeah, it's yeah. thin. It makes it much easier and you won't burn. And that's the, the, the way I do it with my hamburger meat. I just pound it. All right, so we have seasoned flour. One half cups of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. And we have a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon pepper. of paprika. And garlic powder. And garlic powder. And then we've got some buttermilk here. And in the buttermilk, we've got two eggs. So we are going to dip it in the buttermilk, and then we're going to dredge it in our seasoned flour. And we're not going to do that once, but we're going to do it two times. Two times. Really coat that. Mm -mm. Called double seasoning. And then we're going to place them over here on this rack and let them rest. As Sheila would say. Because they've been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> These chickens have been through a lot. Yes, they have. Right, so. They need to rest. <laughs> Dip them in the buttermilk mixture. In the flour. Dredge them in the flour mixture. One more time. And we're going to repeat this on all of these. I'm getting smart using these tongs, aren't I, Sheila? Yes, you are. I'm glad you got those instead of your fingers. I know. All right. So now we've got our pan on medium heat. And we're going to use some canola oil. And you just want to put about an eighth of an inch in the bottom of your pan, maybe a little bit more. It depends on how much chicken you're going to be cooking up. So get it nice and hot. And when it's ready, you just place your chicken in there. You'll see it start frying up. Mm -mm -mm. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to try and be healthier, you can use olive oil, I guess. <laughs> But we're not being healthy today, we're just going to cook. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let that brown up really good on one side. Let's see how that's looking. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Yes, it is. Look at that. Alright, you can see that one's not quite ready, so let's leave those two there. Get that other side browning up. And over here, I've got my water starting to boil for our corn on the cob that we're going to make. So that one's ready now. Let's check that one. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. What do you think, Sheila? I think it's time to let it rest. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it on the tray and let yeah, it rest. All right, we're going to put it back on this. Over here, let that cook a little bit more. Let's put some, some more in there. A little tray sliding around over here. Okay, I think that one's just about done, maybe, let's see, yeah, that's done. Put that over there on that rack. All right, so now we've got a little bit of flour. Yes, a half a cup. And we're going to make ourselves a roux with the drippings and the oil that's in the pan. And that's all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. And we season that a little bit too. We've got a little bit of salt and pepper in that. So you just want to keep whisking that. Now you want to make sure that flour cooks for about two minutes. This is great. This is my Aunt Jerry's 
recipe for this gravy. We call it crack gravy. We're always laughing about it because it's so addicting, but she uses evaporated milk in her gravy. And I'm telling you what, this One is whole the, can too. This is the best gravy ever. It's so good. And then we've got some granulated chicken bouillon that we've mixed. With one fourth cup of hot water. We kind of pre-mixed it so we can pour that in there. And that's gonna give it even more. So that way it won't be so oh, grainy. It was, two, was it two teaspoons? Oh yeah, it was two teaspoons of granulated chicken bouillon. And we're gonna keep whisking that. And then we're gonna use some water to keep as this thickens up, we're going to add about 16 ounces of water over time. We're just going to pour a little bit at a time. So as it starts to thicken and we keep whisking and stirring. And throw in a little biscuit here and there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like that, huh? Yeah, it does. <laughs> throw in a biscuit or two. That might be good. <laughs> yeah. Pour a little bit of water in there and keep, oh. and keep adding that water. We're going to add this whole bottle, this whole 16 ounces of water before this is ready to go. So you just keep whisking. And I may have to have Sheila take over here in a few minutes and so I can get this corn going over here on this side. All right, so now that Sheila's gonna keep whisking that, I'm gonna add in our boiling water, one cup of milk, and about a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I'm just gonna spoon this in here. And I'm going to stir this up, and then I'm going to place our sweet corn on the cob in here and get this boiling. And you're going to boil this for about five to seven minutes. You don't want to boil it too long because it'll get tough, so got to really keep an eye on it. Looking good. All right, we're going to have Mom hold this plate, and I'm going to scoop some of this gravy. Oh, look at that. Sheila's got the camera. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Made ourselves some mashed taters to go with it. Look at that. Now, I, is, is that a meal or what? Uh, I'm telling you what. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to try it. I am. Let's do it. smell a vision Oh, Here doesn't that is. smell good? It does. Oh, look at this. I know. I'm ready. Let's try it. Okay. All okay. right. Are you right? Here we go. I'm ready. Get some of that yummy... Yummy gravy. Yes. The mashed taters. Ready? Let's go. Mmm. Mm. That makes you for it go round and round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love that gravy. It's delicious. It is. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I love that recipe. Well, as Steve would say. Is this the best. best chicken fried chicken with homemade gravy? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.